Hello everybody, it's Gypsy Wolf. How is everybody doing? I apologize for my long absence. I really do. As many of you know, I moved and it took me quite some time to get settled in. It's been taking a little bit longer than anticipated. So that is the reason for my absence. But I am okay. I am great. Everything is fantastic. I am 99.9% .9 done my witchy room. It should be finished within the next day or two. And I cannot wait to give you guys a tour. It's actually more like two witchy rooms, to be honest. Uh, one is decorated exactly how I want with all my books. And then I have another section and another room for all my herbs and special candles. So I can't wait to show you guys all of that. Anyway, let me just jump into this. So... We are dealing with a Mercury retrograde right now. I don't know about you, but for me, it affects me a lot. A lot, a lot. Not only do I have a hard time communicating uh, to other people, but I have a very hard time receiving words from people the right way. Okay? So this spell is for clear communication between you and your partner, okay? It can be used for two men, two women, a man and a woman, it does not matter. This is gender neutral, which is something I really love about it. I am working for a client right now on a reconciliation spell. Seems to be like the theme of the last few months for me with my, my clients. I don't get it, but hey, I hope I'm helping. I know I'm helping, so that's great. And because we are in this Mercury retrograde, I figured, well, if these two people are trying to clearly communicate and get things back on the right track. Oof. This is a booster spell that I just decided to do for my client. You know, I let her know. I'm not charging her or anything, but I just felt that this would be pretty beneficial. So, this is like a preemptive strike. If you're in a relationship and the two of you are just fine, but you're going through the retrograde and you want to make sure that you're still just fine. You know what I mean? You could also use this when it's not a Mercury retrograde and you feel as though, um, you know, maybe you're concerned about your communication or you think it might be lacking, whatever. This is just an all around clear communication spell. You can also use this Altered a little bit, but you can also use this for clear communication between yourself and maybe a coworker, yourself and maybe your mom or your brother or your sister or whomever. It does not matter. And I will show you how you can alter that in a moment. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need, and I already ground this up for the sake of time of the video. You're going to need deer's tongue and lavender ground up. Here is why we are using it. Deer's tongue is to speak more eloquently and for your words to be received better by those you speak to. Lavender is to calm things down and to also help with loving energies such as that, okay? Normally I would probably use a bit more, uh, you know, some extra herbs, but I'm trying to keep it simple and easy for you guys, okay? So like I said, deer tongue and lavender, all right? What you're also going to need, I have it turned upside down for the sake of, you know, privacy of my client, a picture of you and your partner if you have one, okay? I'll show you what to do if you do not have it in a moment. You're also going to need some form of incense. I'm using lotus because this is for two people that are in a relationship. Any type of floral fragrance, such as rose, lavender, lotus, is really good for anything to do with you and a loved one, you know, a, a lover, okay? You're going to need a blue pen. Not black, not red, not green, blue, a blue pen or marker, okay? You're going to need a dish of some sort or two candle holders, but I like to use a dish. You do not need a heart-shaped one. 
I just happen to have one, so why not be extra? You will definitely need two blue candles. It does not matter what size, shape, does not matter. Just two blue candles, okay? And then another little extra. I love using some rose quartz because it really does help keep that happy, loving energy going. And the last two items are optional, but I really recommend them. The first one, and I do have a video on how to make this, just go on my channel and check it out, is my reconciliation oil, okay? Like, just, it even looks pretty. <laughs> and then, the other oil I'm going to be using is, I have this mercury retrograde oil that a very dear friend of mine sent to me and asked me to test out and see if I liked it and I love it, love it. Her name, uh, she's actually the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. She has her own YouTube channel. I know that she sells her oils. She is absolutely phenomenal, trustworthy, affordable. Like she's just, and she's not asking me to talk about it either. She just sent me some stuff because we're friends and we send each other things and I, I just, I love this oil. I, I can't say enough good things about it. She's such a gifted, gifted witch. And the last thing you might want to use is a supporting candle, probably like a tea light. I could not for the life of me find my pink tea light candles. So I went with red. Yes, pink is better for love. Red is a little bit better for lust, but we'll get into all that, okay? And then also, if you don't have the picture of you and your partner, you need white paper. Not brown, not any other crazy color. White. There is a reason, I promise you. If you have questions about why, please leave a comment below and I will explain it to you, but just trust me, white paper, okay? All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. And I feel rusty making my videos, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I've got dry mouth, and I'm, like, nervous because <laughs> it's been, like, two months. But here's how we're going to do this. All right, so. <sighs> the first thing you want to do, if you have a picture of the two of you, okay? Like I said, I can't show you this picture for privacy purposes. If you have a picture, you're going to do this on the back of the picture. If you don't, we're going to use names, but... You're going to draw an infinity symbol, okay? This represents the constant flow of energy, okay? How everything is energy, all right? Between you and this other person. And what you're gonna do is basically like an upside <laughs> like sideways eight, okay? What you're going to do in your figure eight, whether it's on the back of the picture or just on a white piece of paper, is write your name and date of birth in one side of the circle and your partner's full name and date of birth in the other side of the circle. So this is going to symbolize the two of you merging and continually having this clear flow of energy. So let me do that real quickly, guys, okay? And I can't show you the names for the sake of privacy here. So give me a moment real quick. I do have to cover this. Okay. And like I said, white paper, blue pen. And I did go into state and started this spell. Oh, see, you're gonna see my face and it looks bad right now and I know it. <laughs> um, I did go into state prior to this and prayed over a lot of the, you know, ingredients and things like that. All right, let me give it a thrill fast. Don't mind me, I'm being quiet right now. Going as fast as I can. Okay. 
So we have both names. I'm just gonna quickly flip it. See, okay. Both full names, dates of birth, okay? In that infinity symbol. All right, and then we're going to put that under the dish. You can use any dish that you would like. Does not matter. Now, in each candle, you were going to inscribe, the first one you're going to inscribe, your name, date of birth, and then your partner's name and date of birth in the other. Now, what we're going to do here, if you do not have mercury retrograde oil, because I know that's not very common, um, or if you really need to do this spell now before you can order it, you can just use plain old olive oil. It is not the end of the world, guys. I promise you. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit on my fingers here. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, I bless and empower this Mercury Retrograde Oil to keep clear communication between and during this difficult time, during the retrograde, and for all times. Amen. All right, so I'm going to anoint the first candle with that oil. And I like to go from the base up to the wick. When we're dealing with positive magic, such as this, okay? And, I mean, you wouldn't need to use any oil, really, if we weren't using herbs, but we are, and we need an oil to make sure that it sticks, that the herbs stick to the candle, okay? I'm gonna do a little more. That's all it goes. That doesn't empower this. Okay. Don't want me, I know I'm getting quiet here, but I'm just... Trying to go quickly, but also make sure that this spell actually works. <laughs> that would be helpful, you know. <laughs> like I said, it's just a booster spell, but I want to make sure my stuff works, you know. All right, like I said, guys, this oil is amazing. If you want to order it, I don't have... I don't know if she has a website right now, but like I said, just on YouTube, go over to uh, The Witch of Whitetail Hollow and tell her I sent you, and um, she'll get this oil to you. It smells amazing, but not overpowering, and it has been my lifesaver the past few retrogrades, and I've used quite a bit of it. All right, so I'm going to light my lotus incense right now. Like I said, I already cleansed all my materials and sage and moon water. A lot of times I'll use Florida water, but for whatever reason, with this spell, it felt right to use moon water. Okay, so we've got our lotus incense going. And what I'm going to do, even though I've already weighed everything through the sage, to cleanse the energy, I'm going to wave it through the lotus incense as well. So let me see if you guys can see this here. I'm sorry if I'm not doing the best job ever with this video, but like I said, this is a new area for me to record. I haven't recorded in two months, but I really wanted to share this spell with you because these retrogrades, man, I swear, they get worse and worse each month. I really do think that they do. All right, I'm also going to wave the rose quartz through this. All right. And then I'm going to wave the supporting candle through it. Like I said, you can use pink or red. And if all you have is white, that's okay too. But I would really suggest pink or red. All right. And then I am going to wave the picture through the incense. I am reciting their names in my head. Or if all I have is, you know, your figure eight, you can wave that through the incense as well. Anything like rose, lotus, lavender, anything like that will work beautifully. Honeysuckle is a really good one. I could just have a hard time getting my hands on that. Okay. So, 
we dressed our two blue candles with our mercury retrograde oil. What are we gonna do next? We're going to take our deer's tongue and lavender, okay? And we're just gonna sprinkle it on there, okay? You could also put these herbs in a bowl or on a plate and roll your candles that way. That's a really awesome option. I'm actually kind of rolling it a little bit this way. I'm letting the tray that I'm using kind of pick up the extra herbs. All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle this on here. This way, any of the extra herbs that don't stick to the candle, they're in the dish that we're using, okay? All right, so then you wanna take your candles and fix them to the plate, a tray, whatever you have, side by side. All right, that one doesn't wanna go down, hold up. Okay. And with your herbs, guys, please be careful to make sure that the herbs aren't flooded in here because we're going to be lighting the candle. We don't want things to catch fire, okay? So make sure that if you have herbs around your candles, it's not too much. I'm gonna need a new lighter soon, guys. All right, side by side. All right, and we're going to bless and empower these candles, okay? In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower these candles to represent born on and born on to have clear communication during this Mercury retrograde and at all times. Let them speak freely, happily, calmly. Amen. Okay. Now, with your supporting candle, what I decided to do, and again, this is not necessary. You don't even need a supporting candle. I'm just choosing to do it. You're going to want to take the reconciliation oil that I have shown you how to make in a previous video, so go check that out. And you're just going to take a little bit on your finger. You can pray over it if you want, but I'm going to pray over it after I put it onto my candle. And I did inscribe the supporting candle too with the words clear communication and love. But you don't really have to inscribe it if you don't want to. I'm just giving you guys some ideas. Okay. Let's pray over that. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower this candle to help support this spell so that and continue to have a loving, lustful relationship with good communication. Amen. All right, very simple. And I'm going to place this candle outside of the dish at the top. And I'm going to take the rose quartz and I'm going to place it inside the dish at the top, okay? Now, if you are concerned about getting your stone um, maybe dirty with wax or whatever you can put it on the outside that's entirely optional and if you don't have rose quartz you can use clear quartz okay and like i said again if you don't have any of these oils do not fret you can use just good old olive oil but i will say you probably do need the lavender and deer's tongue okay so those are the main things so we're done and all you do at this point You light up your candles, 
spend a few minutes with them, okay? Spend time with your spell work, guys. Please, spend time with it and visualize. Visualize that clear communication between you and your partner. I promise you that this is a great preemptive strike to make sure that you don't fight with your partner. But if you already have begun to fight, this will work as well. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, please drop it down in the comments below. And if you want a private consultation, email me at magicalgypsywolf at gmail.com. That's magicalgypsywolf at gmail.com. You can still reach me on my previous email at gypsywolf83 gmail. However, I will get back to you a bit more quickly with the previous email that I just mentioned. Um, kind of expedite those emails a little bit. So, all right, guys. I hope that you are all going to have a beautiful rest of your weekend. And I can't wait to see you again. I have some really cool videos that are coming up. Let me know down below what types of spells you want to see. And I will do my best to bring those spells to you. As always, guys, blessed be.